Hi there, welcome to the channel. Um, back in the workshop. We'll be in the workshop for a while until I can say, look outside the workshop because we're getting closer. We managed to get um, the motor spin in there last week. So, in case you're new to the channel, the plan is take the 93 Audi 80 Advance, the 2 litre 16 valve is gone, sold, all the innards have been taken out to be replaced by 2012 uh, Nissan Leaf motor, inverter, uh, hooked up to the gearbox down there of the Audi and then fitting in the 2015 uh, 24 kilowatt pack from uh, another Leaf. So all that's going to go into this to make it fully electric. The plan for this video here is to just show the tear down of the, the pack here. The layout of this is as um, it's 48 modules, we have 24 in the back and the other 24 are split between here. You have, you have uh, 2 by 2 here, 2 by 2 and 2 by 4 the same again. The um, state of charge on this was 54%. It's still got, it's up to 380 volts uh, and it's health was in 93.7 when we checked it there a few months ago, a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, the thing is the whole plan here is to, to break it down into manageable chunks. So uh, the way it's wired up, I'll show you in a minute, um, you can start disassembling to break it down. So you have, you're at full 380 volts. You can then split it by this two holes here to the main pack here. You basically split it, split the voltage in half then. And you have a couple of buzz bars here again, which you can divide the potential again between those packs. By that stage then, you can disassemble the uh, high voltage junction box in here. And uh, you can start uh, taking it apart. But for the initial couple of um, poles that I'm going to take off, I'll have my high voltage comedy gloves um, there and um, just for those couple of ones I've of course as usual we've we've just insulated all of the tools I'm going to be using just in case something falls just something if something falls and bridges arcs across a couple of poles it's just um, it's always wise just to keep things a bit of a liberal uh, sort of coating of um, insulating tape around them um, it, so let's have a closer look. So looking across the um, the pack here, you look closer in here. This is what we have here is the uh, the high voltage jun junction box. So um, if you come in this way, there's your the positive and negative is coming in here, splitting. So you have that's your uh, main contactor. Main contactor positive, main contactor negative, I think, or is it the other way around? That's the pre-charge contactor down there, and in here somewhere is the fuse, the pre-charge um, resistor, sorry, pre-charge resistor in there, the fuse is down there. So um, what you can do is, once we, dis we take away this here, this uh, first point here, and once I've done that, I'm just gonna tape it up. That goes all the way to the back pack here. This disconnect that. I'm also going to disconnect the um, other side of it there, which leads down into the. Actually, goes into this is the um, the safety disconnect. Like that, in essence, as as it just sort of rendered the whole pack, the like null and void. That's broken the the um, the link there. So, but as we want, to, as I say, we want to be able to make sure that we can just break it down again into its uh, constituent parts. Okay, so that's disconnected there. I've done that one as well. That's into the safety disconnect. All this up to here. I'm gonna start taking away a couple of the buzz bars now. So we're looking at other videos don't have to take out the center bar yet we can actually get this those two that link up that those two uh, packs and we can take away this from the negative 
over to the negative side of here. So that's what we'll do next. the potentials in the pack to just the half of it there they're split still these two are still connected but that's what we'll work at next um, I'm gonna free up the um, high voltage junction box get that out of there gives me room then to access these are all each pack is bolted into a sort of its own sort of module uh, bus bars and all that here link them all up plus the negative and link them into these packs so uh yeah we'll start doing that next there's the uh bit so far which has worked out pretty handy actually when i'm just taping up this it's just the overrun of the tape <clears throat> this is made every time i take uh one of these off so i'm screwing it off Oop, just sticks to the end so it's handy nothing dropping it's uh, the, the bonus of these poles are if you can see it here that they have a little sort of castellation at the top which means like the, the nut won't spin off anyway so when you're taking it off so handy but when you're taking it off and put it back on ventricles <clears throat> uh, I don't know which is which <laughs> uh, one's positive one's negative uh, main that's your pre-charge um, there's your resistor which is the same that I'm gonna have I probably will use one of these as my because I have two main positive negative contactors I may make use of one of these as the pre-charge probably just that relay there yep so okay next up we're going to just create a bit more space. I was going to take this cross member out and the disconnect in the center. So these fellas here, the 17s are fairly well bet on. So a bit of extra leverage needed. Those are the two 13s there. And you just got tall 10s here, just need a lot of That's it. Disconnected all the, the BMS you know, the battery management system, which sits there. Got rid of all the signaling wires and all that. There's a few bit left over there, but um, next I want to disconnect uh, these packs. As I said before, I'm going to try and keep that one as it is. I'll probably have to get the crane in here to lift it out, but I'll deal with that later. And uh, so we'll just separate these fellas. very tidy design very nicely made 
that's uh, just measure them up. That's three point. Was it? Sorry, eight point. Eight point. What? Eight point. That is seven point eight. Seven point eight each. So, yep. You can see if you look closely. Like gaps there. It's all these are air cooled. So a lot of the other ones take, for example, the um, Tesla modules and all. They're all liquid cooled. These are air. So yeah, let's get the rest of these in. Bend and over is not good for your back. There we are, another batch free. Let's stack them up with the others. Okay, so we're down to the last module. Unbolted everything. You can see it's kind of, uh, it's getting it's pretty much free now, but still way too heavy for me to lift out. So I just need to go up and get the crane, I guess. And lift this baby out, so it's all free on each, each corner. There we go. In all its glory. There's still, yeah, it's manageable. Still a bit of weight in that, but I will make use of some of the metal. There she is, nice out of the way. Got more space in the shed. Amazing. Here's all the bits. I think this is great. Um, extra bit of high voltage cabling. There's plenty of bus bars here I can reuse and building the um, high voltage junction box, stuff like this, it's perfect. Right. Reuse all this stuff, including those. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, what I can do now is I'm gonna start um, measuring up that main um, 24 pack. Uh, measuring up what's under, like underneath the, the car where the petrol tank used to be. Seeing if that'll fit in there. Hopefully maybe using a bit of the um the uh the case that was in the out that it was originally in as well. So yeah. My on my cleaner over there continues. Um carry on as you were. You missed the spot. Um yeah, so what we have next next week we've got uh, the adapter plate being cut and uh, coupler hopefully make up 
and we can start putting stuff back at the car and yeah let's get the pedal in the car but uh, it's getting closer and closer to being able to move at least a few feet under its own steam so uh, thanks for watching if you like what you've seen if you want to see more please subscribe spread it tell everyone and um, just find a look at some bits